So thanks for reaching out and connecting and uh, sending support. I totally appreciate it. Uh, to kind of expand on some of the dynamics that uh, I've seen with in regards to hosting events, so many people do automated uh, RSVPs where robots will RSVP for everything for you. So as a countermeasure for people doing automated RSVPs, I thought I would add in uh, ways to filter uh, some of those RSVPs. One of the filters is a two-stage RSVP where you don't just click, you know, RSVP yes on whatever and then your email submitted and you're on the guest list. So I did a two-stage RSVP where the email confirmation then asks you to, to do a text message or some other form of second stage. You can use Twitter where you don't just do a one stage, you're doing two stage where the second thing that you do is, hey, I'm really coming, thanks for hosting this thing. So that's what I'm looking for is something that's automated. The other thing that I did was I had next year's event for this year. So it'd be right now it's 2019 South by Southwest. I would have 2020 as a kind of a, a catch all. So if you're trying to RSVP for everything, I'm gonna just grab those and kick those names out. The other thing that uh, as far as uh, screening for automatic robots that are RSVPing for you is I will actually put details in the text of the the event the the copy of the event description text for details for uh, day of so it requires you to read and prepare a little little bit where it's a little bit of misdirection but it's really just seeing if people are really real and reading. And in every time and instance, I realize that some people are kind of too busy to like prepare to go to an event. Well, that's kind of another filter. But the other thing I always do is I always put my real cell phone on there. So that way day of, uh, you can actually reach out. 